Hello, welcome back to another video. Today, I've got a home bargains haul for you. There are Christmas items in this haul and there's also household items as well. I'm just gonna zoom you out a little bit because I feel like we're a little bit close to the products here. Um, and also today, joining us on this haul, we have a special guest. Now, this special guest joined me in the car yesterday when I broke down. My tyre burst in the car and I had to have the RAC come out and fix me a new tyre. I was waiting five hours, stuck on the side of a road near a petrol station, waiting for the RAC to come out and to save me. And they did. But in the meantime, I bring Christmas shopping in the morning at Home Bargains and B&M. So in the back of the car when the RAC person came out he saw him <laughs> and he was lying on the back seat uh, but his face was like between the back of my chair and the back of the passenger's chair passenger side chair um, and I think it startled him a little bit I think he kind of like got took, taken aback by what was in the car <laughs> And I just had to explain that I'd been Christmas shopping and I celebrate Christmas from the summer onwards. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever see him again. <laughs> I think he thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is a new little Santa decoration that we've got joining us today on this haul. He's absolutely beautiful and I'll talk more about him in a moment. So starting off with the actual haul, I do have some household products. I'm just going to share with you just a couple of things in this bag first so because these are full of glitter I don't want to get them out so these are just these festive round decorations now they're meant to come with sticks but the whole aisle of these had no sticks so the gentleman at the till reduced them from 199 to 99p for me so I only paid four pound for these they should have been eight pound for all four very kindly as well I never asked for it he just offered to do that which is so lovely of him so I got these for a pound each and they're just to be they're just going to be added to my door garland which I decorate for Christmas in a candy striped theme it goes outside I'll put a picture up now I actually when I moved uh, well actually not when I moved last Christmas after Christmas was over we packaged it up in the bag, but in the same condition. So we never dismantled any of it. So this year, when I pull it out, it's already like put together, which is so wonderful. It'll be so easy to just to put up around the door. But I did want to add a few little bits to it. So those decorations are for that. I also brought some magnesium. Apparently, it's really good for like leg cramps. So oh, there you go. Chucked it in the bag. I got a tub of the magnesium. And then I picked up some microfiber cloths, just a three pack to have on hand for the kitchen so back to the table I got some Lenore Outdoorable I went for the orange blossom one now I brought this a few days ago smells divine it's really nice smell and I wanted to make sure I had a backup because at the weekend I ran out of laundry products and I don't think I've ever run out of laundry products it was a little bit like oh no we've got a whole load of washing from the week to catch up on and I had nothing to put in the washing machine so I wanted to make sure I just have a backup this time so I got some more of this I picked up one from food shopping but then I got this today from bargains and I think it was about four pound less than four pound um, and then I also got some vanish power gel stain remover I dropped some beans on toast well I dropped a bean from beans on toast onto the sofa on the armrest and because it's orange and the sofa's beige it looks really bad I've tried to wipe it but then I got watermarks and it just it's just a whole thing so I thought I'll get a stain remover so I picked up this I think it was about 3.99 um, but it's a huge bottle it'll last ages so I picked up that as well I did get some more mouthwash I just get this one it's £2.79 it's a really good one it's like a knockoff of the cordyceal and then some sugar-free chewing gum as well for the car I brought a hand wash so okay I'm aware that it's October but they have festive hand washes in the store and the thing is when they sell it and it's in the store like now how can you not buy it and then use it I know that everyone is decorating for autumn. I too have decorated for autumn. You can see on the coffee table there. But there's just something about having a nice festive hand wash to break in Christmas in this house. Because if I put the decorations out before middle of November, my husband will divorce me. We'll have to move out. It will be a whole big thing. <laughs> but if I just have a few little Christmas hand washes, there's nothing he can say. It's just a hand wash. And to me, it's a festive hand wash, you see? So it's the frosted eucalyptus and the cedar scent and I cannot wait to get this in the kitchen and I'm going to tie
time it and see how long when he gets back from work is he going to notice it that it's a Christmassy one and I'll let you know <laughs> I also got a pack of the wipes we do use the cloths and the cleaning spray but I like to have wipes just for a really quick wipe down of the coffee table and things like that and I actually had a last packet I brought was probably two or three weeks ago and I think I'm down to three or four in there so I wanted to make sure I had another packet of those and then Oh, well, let's talk about this before we talk about the goodies. I got some of this washing machine cleaner. It's a new product by Dr. Beckman. And I think it was about £3. It was quite expensive. It's quite, a, you get quite a lot though. I was going to save some for the next time because um, it lasts for like three months. So I thought I could get like six months worth. But you have to put the whole bottle in. So I can't do that. But yeah, it'll be good to give the washing machine a good clean. So I got that for that. And then I also got some Febreze. I went for the vanilla cookie. I've used this before last year around the Christmas time and it's quite a basic scent but it's a sweet vanilla scent so it's it's a strong scent it's just a basic scent there's not much to it it's just vanilla but it does smell really nice so I got it for the Christmas season and then I did get two bottles of bleach just at the back there and also some fairy um, tablets you get 28 in a box and I brought some from shopping when I got the softener but I want to make sure I have a backup so I got another box just to have in the house I needed to get some more tissues for my tissue holder I picked up this tissue holder from Poundland I'll show it you now um and it's, it's really, really nice. I just love it. It's on the coffee table usually. But I ran out of tissue. So you just put your whole box in there. And then obviously it just comes through the slot. And it's a really cool thing to have. So I need to get some more tissues for that. So I just got the Kleenex ones. And then let's talk about the goodies. I picked up three things for my Christmas box. I mentioned on a video that I was going to start buying things every week now and put them in a big, clear storage box. And then by the time Christmas comes around, I should have... All of the things that I've, I've got like long life on them, I should have enough of so that I don't have to buy at Christmas. And I thought it was a really good way to kind of spread the cost. And then in December, usually in December, my food shopping is sky high because each week in December, I used to do a weekly shop and then I used to get quite a lot of Christmas stuff each week. But it meant that the month of December was just an expensive month. So if I start now in October, by the time December comes around, I won't need to pick any of this up. That's if I can keep it in the box and not eat it that's the plan and the goal for this year so I got the matchmakers in cool mint I like the orange ones as well but for now I just got the mint ones and then I got the Malteser truffles now these are like uh, very addictive things that I should not be having and I'm upset I was obsessed with them last year the year before so hoping that I just have a couple of these this year and not indulge but I did pick up a box of those and then I've never tried the white truffle ones so I got a box of those as well because at the moment these more teaser truffles are £3.49 at home bargains and they were marked down it said that they should have been £4.29 so I'm saving 79p whether that's true or not I don't know but it did have like a slash kind of price promotion thing on it so I did um, get on because of that and also because I can then suck up so I got two boxes of the Maltesers as well going into the Christmas decorations the best bit about this haul I'm not going to go to Christmas decoration this year I do have some already although I am going to change my theme in the lounge this year that's a new thing that's going to happen but I saw this sign it's part of the video I just put up a Christmas new arrivals video from home bargains if you've not watched that there's some lovely new stuff there so that is just on the channel it was the last video that went up now I saw this sign and it was 6 99 and I absolutely loved it I just thought it was really well made I don't know how whether because it's a wooden it's like wooden logs I don't know how weatherproof it is or maybe it'll tell you here that you can't um to keep it outside but I was thinking just outside my front door where the candy cane garland is going to go like the door frame um there's a little bit of a porch area so I've got a bit of a shelter so I thought maybe I'll put that on the floor in the corner there and then if not I could probably pull it in the hallway like where the shoe rack is um just to kind of continue the candy theme inside the house a little bit the like the red and the white but I just loved it I just thought it was really well made for seven pound so it's just on a little um block there and all of these twist individually as well so the back is plain and then this has got the um the sign on but I think that's just really nice for seven quid so I picked up that and then I also got a new lamp post when we moved our Christmas decorations and we because we moved in the summer um I was going to say if I've not mentioned it but I think I've mentioned it on <laughs> every video that I've put on I'll, I'll stop talking about it now um but when we did 
uh, move house a lot of my Christmas decorations went to my in-laws because they've got a loft so they stored a lot of it for me um, and then we managed to bring it all back a couple of weeks ago and it's now in my garage but my metal lamppost wasn't in a box that I had previously and it's a bit damaged the like the base and the pole is a bit dent so I'm gonna get rid of that and I brought a new one for $14.99 and this one has a little sign because mine was just a standard like pole with with the lamp on the top but this one's got a little sign and I think it's really cute so I picked up that for £15 I'm excited to get that out this year and then the next thing I'm going to show you is the best thing now on the video they had little Santas for £14.99 medium sized Santas for £20 and then you can buy the big Santas for $24.99 and my sister-in-law gets freaked out by these she hates them but I just think he's so cute. He's got his little skis. He's got a lovely winter coat on. He jingles as well. If you listen to that, he's got a bell on his hat. He's got some pine cones. He's got a Christmas present, a little sack. I just think he's adorable. Look at his boots as well. Very, very cute. And he's all dressed up, ready for the season. So he is going in the lounge. Now he's quite tall. You can see, if you put him next to this armchair, you'll be able to see he's taller than the armchair, which is great. I just love it. And for 25 quid, I do feel like I've got a steal of a deal here. So I picked up him as well. And he came in the car with me. He came around the store with me when I was filming. People were looking at me like I was crazy. The RAC man thought I was crazy. But I'm very pleased to have him back in the house and ready for the Christmas season. I do have, if you just um, spotted this, this is a bag from B&M. So I've got more Christmas goodies to share with you on the next video but for now that is everything that I got from Home Bargains this time I've not been Home Bargains for about three or four months so it was really good to go in and just get a load of cleaning stuff because it's what I usually buy from there and then seeing all of the Christmas stuff out was really exciting and yeah thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed seeing it take care enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you very soon for a Christmas B&M video